welcome or welcome back to Candice Lynn TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design and assemble this chip bag using Canva. And first of all, I have a free template that you can use in Canva. You just need to have an account. And this is what that template is going to look like. The pink is going to be the front of your bag and the blue is going to be the back. And you can find that link in the description box. Just go ahead and create you a Canva account. I'm going to click the plus sign to go to my elements to add pictures or any designs that I want on my chip bag. And I like to start off by doing the front of my chip bag. So I'm going to pick the background that is going to be on the front of my chip bag. And I decided on using this one. As you can see, I don't have many elements that I'm going to add. But once you put everything together, it's going to look great. And then I'm going to click add to page. And it will put it into my design. And all I have to do is size it to fit that pink area. I am working on the front side of my bag. So this is what you'll see on the front of the bag. And I'm just resizing this background to fit that entire pink square. Once that is done, I am going to go back to the purple plus sign to get into my camera roll to get the next image that I want to use. And that's going to be all of the cute little animals on the Jeep. And I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click add to page. You can add all of them at once if you would like. This just helps me see better instead of trying to put everything on that one screen. Once it is up here, I'm going to move it around. And once I do that, I, this is not where I'm going to put it, but I can go to effects. And I'm going to do the background remover, which is the one that you see that says BG remover. And it will take away the background just like that. And I'm going to basically resize that and place that where I want it to be. So if you want it bigger, you can make it bigger. If you want your image to be smaller, you can make it smaller and you can just move it around and place it where you want it to be. Now, after I do that, I'm going to go back to the plus sign. And also in my camera roll, I found this where it says wild one on Pinterest. So there's a lot of images that you can use on Canva, but you have to use Canva Pro. So if you're using the free Canva, I advise that you try to get most of your images from Google or Pinterest because they'll be free and you can just adjust them the way you want to in Canva. So you don't have to have Canva Pro. You can just get all your images from Google or Pinterest. And for this part, I'm going to go back in and also remove the background. So I clicked on effects and then background remover. And it does take time to remove the background, so just give it the time that it needs. And now I can resize that and place it where I want it to be. And again, I do want to reiterate that the images that I got for this that I've used so far, these have come from Pinterest. So you don't have to have Canva Pro. If you don't want to get Canva Pro, you can get all of your images and characters or your designs from Google or Pinterest or Yahoo, whatever you use. That's what you can use to get all your images and i'm just playing around with the size now i do want to go ahead and start on the back of my chip bag so i'm going to click on the plus sign again eventually i'm going to click on the plus sign i promise and it's going to take me back to my camera roll again all of these images i got from pinterest and i'm going to click on the polka dot and that's what i'm going to use on one side of my chip bag so that's going to represent the back so I'm going to click add to page and I'm going to put it on the left side. It doesn't really matter what side you use. I just like to put this on the left side and I'm going to resize it to fit that blue area. Once it is sized up correctly, I am going to go hit the plus sign again. Well, yeah, I'm going to also do the other side as well and this is the favorite the, my favorite part that i like about the canva you can click on it then pick color and then when you scroll down on that section you'll be able it picks it color matches for you so you don't have to figure out which pink do you have on the bag that'll look good because it's basically going to color match what you already have on there you can click through them to see what you would like i always like to do a background that has a pattern and then one side that is solid it's just my preference. This 
entire design can is up to you you can put whatever you want on here if there's something on here that you don't like that i put on here you don't have to put it just make it whatever you want and i'm going to pick the color that i want that back panel to be and now that i've picked that color now i'm going to go click the plus sign, and it's going to bring me back to this but this time i'm going to go into elements and in elements it has so many different designs that come in canva and it'll tell you which ones are for pro and which ones aren't so if you can get away with doing this without pro go ahead first i'm going to go to nutritional facts and you can also find these same images off of google and pinterest so you don't have to have pro i just do so just an idea you can go get these same images or something else from google and pinterest so these are the nutrition facts and i'm going to add to one side i'm going to pick to put mine on the left side so i'm resizing that just to make sure that it will fit now that i have resized it i'm going to go to that plus sign again because i want to also put a barcode so i'm going to type in searching for a barcode and again these same images can be found on google and pinterest you don't have to get camera pro just to have access to them but it does help so now that i have these i am going to pick which barcode i want to use and i'm going to also put that on the left side but there's so many other things that you can add to this just put what you think what you think is cute what you want to be on your chip bag and now that i have these here i'm just going to go around and play around with the size and try to get it where to to make it what i want it to look like and next i'm going to click the plus sign again and but this time i'm going to add text so i'm going to click on text once i am in text there's a lot of different fonts and things that you can use and i'm just going to keep it simple because i'm just going to put thanks for coming so i click add text box and then i'm going to put thanks for coming here you could put thanks for partying with us um based off what the event is just be creative and put whatever you want to put this is going to be short and simple thanks for coming and then i'm going to move it to the right side and i'm going to make it bigger so this is what we have so far And like I said, there's so many different fonts that you can use for your design. So just make sure you go through those. I'm going to change mine, but nothing too drastic. But there are so many that you can use. And now that I have everything that I'm going to include on my design, I'm going to go in and make any fine adjustments or move anything around or resize anything that I need to resize. This design... And the template that I provided is so customizable. You can choose whatever theme you want. If you don't want to put anything on the back of your chip bag, you don't have to. If you want to put pictures on the front, you can do that. Whatever design comes to your mind, you can make it with that template. Just make sure that you go into Canva and you create an account. Does not have to be Canva Pro because you can get any image almost off of Google and Pinterest, even fonts and things like that from the font so you don't necessarily have to get canva pro it does help because everything is in one place and you don't have to go find anything but i'm just saying so go ahead and like comment and subscribe so now that i've done that i planned on just showing you guys what i use and just a quick putting it together but for some reason i am out of the camera at some moments in time so i am going to talk you through how i assemble my chip bag i'm using a glue gun these scissors that cut like a zigzag some double-sided tape my design on regular paper but you can use whatever paper you want to use and then the chip bag so first i am going to start off by creasing at the sides so that the it's basically going to be folded like this And that's my first step is just making sure I have a somewhat crease and it helps when you're putting it together to have that crease there for the back of the bag. So now I'm just showing what it's going to look like and make sure that it does line up correctly. I like to take some double sided tape and put it on one side that's going to be under 
I like to put the thanks for coming under because I like the nutritional facts and barcode. I feel like that makes it look very realistic. So now that I have that flap down, I'm going to take a thin amount of glue. Don't put too much because if you put too much, it will basically come out of the seams and you will burn yourself. Um, the band-aid on my finger is not from this project, so do not be scared. Do not be just, it's okay. I did not do that while making this chip bag, even though I did burn my finger still. So now that I've done my back seam, I am going to take the glue gun and do a line on one side of the bottom or the top of the bag. Does not really matter because they're the same. So once I have that glue there, I will press them closed. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the top of the bag. Just a thin line of glue and then press those closed with my finger. And most of the times your bag will look all weird because it's like flat depending on what the chips look like on the inside. So I do like to fluff the sides and just make it look more realistic. And then I'm gonna take these scissors and make a zigzag line that gives it a little bit more to make it look like it's a realistic chip bag. And after you do that, you can also crimple those edges to make it look realistic, but it's okay. I did regular printer paper. It's not really gonna crease anything. So this is what that looks like. And this is the final product and what I used to assemble my chip bag. Again, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe.